Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. You can uh, go over to my Patreon. I'll do the premium problem solutions there. And uh, if you want to reach out to me, Discord's a good place. I try to get back to everyone. Um, this problem is called Intersection of Two Linked Lists. It's got a lot of likes. It's a pretty good uh, problem to getting good at linked lists. If you don't understand a basic uh, list traversal, I would definitely say check that out first or an easier problem. The objective is write a program to find the node at which two singly linked lists intersect or where the intersection begins. So in this example, we can see clearly that they intersect at node C1. These are the two separate linked lists, A1 and A2, B1, B2, B3. They intersect here. In this case, 401, 501, they intersect at node 8. In this, node, in this example here, they intersect at node 2. Pretty obvious. They give you good pictures here so you understand. Um, and then there's no intersection here. You can see these are just separate length lists. They never intersect. So, um, what are the ideas? Well, the ideas, if... What is going on? Sorry. I don't know. I didn't know that it would direct me to a PNG or whatever. Um, if these were the same length, if these lists were the same length that we're given, we're given two head nodes, one of one list, one of another. So we have the head node of each list we're traversing. Each node has a value and a next node. If these were the same length, well, we could just set a current node or a runner to the head of each node and then just traverse, just do, you know, go to the next node, next node, next node, next node. And when they're equal to the same node, we just return that node because that's where they intersect. Um, these aren't the same length though. So if we started traversing at the same time, they wouldn't match up, right? So a1 dot, if we started going a1 equals a1 dot next, so it's here, this one equals this at the same time, then this equals this, then this equals this. So this, this shorter one's always going to be a node ahead because it has one less node to traverse. So there's uh, two approaches you could do. One is we do some pre-processing kind of where we traverse each list and we get the lengths of each list and then we calculate the difference and then we wait on the longer side until the um we wait on the shorter side for the longer side to catch up to the spot in the traversal it needs to get uh, but there is a better way to do it that's a little bit shorter um basically what you're going to do is you're going to and it involves the length still, basically. You're going to traverse the shorter one and the longer one at the same time. So we'll set pointers to the heads of both of these. We're just going to traverse step by step. And um, when we get to the end of the shorter one, we'll set it to the head of the longer one. And when we get to the, head, the end of the longer one, we'll set it to the head of the shorter one. So they the difference in lengths won't even matter. They'll both be traversing each of the each of the nodes that are our pointers will be traversing both lists in the exact same amount of nodes and they will eventually end up finding the intersecting node or they will both hit null and we will return null. So that's the idea. Let me know if you have any questions about it. I think I explained it as thoroughly as I could. If head of A is equal to null, head of B is equal to null, then our head nodes are messed up, so we can just return null. There's no intersection, right? If there's one of the lists is null, or both of them. Um, we'll set up our pointers or runners. You could call it a runner. You could call it a pointer. I'm going to call it a pointer. You could call it a. You could call it whatever. This is going to be traversing the smaller list in this case first. Uh, this one is going to be traversing the longer list in example one. Well, a pointer is not equal to b pointer. So while the nodes are not equal, um, what we'll do is if a pointer, if the node at this position, if the a, if this node is equal to null, that means we've hit the end of the list. So what we'll do is we'll say, okay, a pointer. After the first end, of, after the first time we get to the end of the list, we're setting it to the head of the longer list. So we're going to say is equal to head b. If it's not at the end of the list, it's just a regular traversal. So we'll say a pointer equals uh, a pointer dot next. Um, and this is going to be the same thing for b pointer. I already explained this. b pointer gets to the end of the list. Then we set b pointer equal to head a. And then um, 
b pointer equals b pointer dot next. This way they traverse the same amount of nodes and in the second loop they catch up to each other and they'll be at the same node. Um, Cause this one goes one less node in the first traversal. So in this one goes one longer node in the first traversal. But when they go, when this one gets put to the head of this one and this one gets put to the head of this one, um, then they grab the difference in length anyway. So then they'll be at the same node and they'll reach the intersection at the same time. And the while loop loops until they meet. So once they meet, then we're good and we can just return the node. So you can return a pointer or b to pointer. Um, or they, you know, both hit null at the end, which they meet anyway. So, you know, there you go. That's the problem. Let me know if you have any questions. I think I made it pretty clear. Um, you know what I mean? One more time. This, we set pointers to the head of each linked list. This one traverses to the end in the first iteration. Then it sets itself to the head of this one. So it traverses a total of three plus one, two, three, four, until it gets to the intersection, so seven. This one traverses one, two, three, four, five, but then it goes here, six, seven. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate everyone that watches the videos, and um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and answer them in, in the comments. Thanks. See you next time.